Parker, this does feel like a watershed day, and, and, and I'll put both stories under that umbrella. In, in, in the Mueller investigation, you've now got a Trump associate in contact with a Russian intelligence asset. And on the presidency, you now know that Donald Trump will always blink, that when you take away the things he loves, TV time, the State of the Union, you could destabilize him, and when the poll numbers crater and you lose a vote, as Jonathan uh, Swan said, that the minority bill had more support than the majority bill, you've got him. How do they clean up and move forward from here? Inform those people with intelligence, Jared Kushner is not eligible for that information. Um, a couple things there. One, um, when John Kelly uh, was a still chief of staff, he was telling people at a senior level, you know, he's not going to get a clearance. Right. Something, there's something holding it up. It's, it's just not going to happen. Order, right. And then he gets the clearance. And there's always... Happened? So, so I don't know is the short answer. And now I think we're seeing some of the pieces of this coming together. That's why I think the reporting last night was so important. I emailed last night Jared Kushner's lawyer because I was, I was struck by the fact that there were no comment from the lawyer and from the White House. We still don't have a denial. I mean, it, 24, almost 24 hours later, they still haven't denied this. It's a very serious um, report, and we have no denial. And good on Well, good evening. I'm Chuck Todd here in Washington. Welcome to MTP Daily. Wow, what a day. Uh, it's been quite a day for this president. Uh, a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day for this president. He had a cave on the shutdown. The government will reopen temporarily, and he gets nothing for his proposed wall. His longtime associate, Roger Stone, has been indicted on seven counts of obstruction, false statements, and witness tampering, all of which he denies. And perhaps the biggest bombshell of them all, it also looks as if Mueller has at least smoking gun proof of Trump campaign collusion with WikiLeaks. So taken together... It's an astounding gut punch to this presidency, and it could only get worse. This afternoon, we saw the president do something we've never really seen before. He declared defeat and seemed to admit it. 